The Vought XFHU-3 Crusader III was on the cutting edge of aeronautic design of the late 1950s. Although the aircraft was designated XFHU-3, it was essentially a completely new design and bore only a superficial resemblance to the earlier FHUs. Initially, five prototypes were ordered. The Crusader III had the same general configuration as that of the earlier Crusader and kept the variable incidence wing. However, the XFHU-3 was appreciably larger and more powerful. The fuselage was enlarged to accommodate a Pratt & Whitney J-75 turbojet with a thrust almost 60% greater than the previous Crusaders. The lower chin intake was angled forward in order to accommodate its expected greater than Mach 2 performance. Perhaps the most distinctive feature was the use of a pair of large hinged ventral fins to enhance maneuverability, which were extended vertically downward when the aircraft was in flight. These fins were retracted to a horizontal position for landings and takeoffs. On July 25, 1955, the Navy authorized the construction of two XFHU-3 prototypes for its maiden flight on June 2, 1958. During flight testing, the XFHU-3 demonstrated speeds of Mach 2.2 and zoom climb altitude of nearly 90,000 feet. The Crusader III was never flown to its limits because of the windshield assembly, which was made of acrylic and could not take the high temperatures of the aircraft's upper envelope. It was thought that without the windshield limitations, it could have reached speeds as high as Mach 2.7 or 2.9 at 35,000 feet. During the fly-offs, though, it was beaten by the inspiring McDonnell F-4 Phantom, 